Flying nationwide airports across the country are turning into shelters for stranded flyers, and near whiteout conditions at times are forcing those who chose to take to the roads to drive white knuckled. Dre Clark is live this morning with the latest on what we're seeing. Dre, good morning. How are you? Hey, Nick, good morning. We're here live at Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey, where right now things are flowing pretty well, but certainly uh, the picture may be a lot different, perhaps more chaotic at airports around the country. It all depends on what the forecast is, where you are. Here at Newark Liberty, we have seen a steady flow of people coming into the airport this morning, but the airlines are doing a Pretty good job of keeping the line moving. So right now, no long lines in that way. AAA estimating this year that 7.2 million people will travel by air for the holiday weekend here. Uh, that's a 14% increase compared to a year ago, uh, and certainly taking us to those pre-pandemic flight levels. Here's the problem, though. Right now, most of the country is either dealing with snow, rain or extremely cold temperatures and almost certainly that's going to affect air travel today as millions of people take to the air. Uh, take a look right now and based on flight aware this is a look at the airports dealing with the most cancellations as of this hour. You have Cleveland Hopkins International Airport which right now had 60 percent of their flights have been canceled so far. Chicago Midway also Detroit Metro Boston Logan uh, there and then LaGuardia Airport in New York City and so right now and again this is an ever-changing situation because even right now it's just raining here in New York but we're expecting that to change later on this afternoon and certainly that's going to cause more delays and actually cancellations as well right now overall there are 7,846 cancellations or I should say delays but within the United States that number is only at 762 as for the cancellations we're at almost 3,000 so the thing to do here if you are traveling today or at all for this holiday week weekend is to go ahead, download the app on your phone for your respective airline, pay very close attention to the changes because they are happening a lot because of the ever-changing weather conditions. Uh, but again, here, at least here in New Jersey at Newark Liberty Airport, things are moving pretty well, but it's still pretty early in the morning and we're expecting the activity in the way of foot traffic and passengers and travelers moving in here to pick up significantly as the day goes on. But again, make sure you download those apps or whatever it is that you use to make sure that uh, your flight is either on time, delayed, or canceled. That's going to make the big difference. You need to be prepared because it's going to be a very long day and night for travel across the country. And, Dre, I can say, though, right now, the silver lining is it looks like there's less chaos today than there was yesterday in, at the airport. Yeah, it's not, it's not as bad. I think some people had the idea, let me go ahead and get out on Thursday mm -hmm. because Friday is probably going to be a lot more chaotic. So I think a lot of people went ahead and just got on their flight yesterday. But it's now here, at least on the West Coast, East Coast, I should say, it's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. But by 10 or 11 o'clock this morning, I'm expecting this line to be a whole lot longer. In fact, in the time since we've been here, it's gotten long. But the airlines are doing a really good job of keeping things moving. And so fingers crossed uh, they won't issue any type of uh, ground stops or anything because of the weather. Right now, it's just raining. The airlines can handle that. But when it starts getting snowy and the temperature starts dropping, that, has, that adds a whole nother layer of complication mm -hmm. that they really don't want to deal with and travelers don't want to hear about it either. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.